Hey folks, welcome to the new show on the set that we always do our show on. <laughs> You'll know who that thumb belongs to in just a second, unless you're very familiar with this set, and you already know you're gonna hit me in the face. <laughs> People are gonna cheer. So today on Special Guest of Palooza Week, we are bringing on the very special, the very intelligent, and the handsomely hair parted Elliot Morgan. Oh, hey. Oh, thank you for having goodness. me here. Uh, thank you for being on at your house. It's a very <laughs> far away from me to drive. I know, you really made the commute, and I, I appreciate did. that. Thank you. Up the downstairs. No problem. Elliot is here for a very special reason, because yes. we are here to debate the fate of people in a segment that I like to call Point Counterpoint. There was an article I saw that said that anti-vaccine nuts are using Halloween candy to spread propaganda by slapping stickers on the back of the Reese's. So is that okay or is that not okay? Ready? Point counterpoint. Point counterpoint, he said. Point. I say, yeah, absolutely. If you want to like put anti-vaccine information on candy, why not? Because the last thing I remember when I had Halloween candy was what the wrapper looked like and I'm certainly not going to read that crap. If I want candy in my body, I'm going to put the candy in my body. Counterpoint. You're already putting candy in your body and you're over here judging me saying something that I shouldn't put something else bad for me in my body? If you're, that's like labeling cigarettes by saying that, oh, you shouldn't shoot heroin. It's both awful things, but you're doing, you're mixing it up. Boy, that drink is you're really not mixing. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Secondly, here's the problem. I don't know if you guys have heard of the population explosion as of lately, but this whole planet has too many people on it. So worst case scenario, people don't get vaccinated and the population decreases and we solve a whole lot of problems. Counterpoint, Ebola's going on and it's less about killing people off and more about spreading fear and mongering that kind of stuff. Absolutely, here's the problem. Ebola and the panic associated with it is part of a conspiracy theory that Obama is using to get elected for a third term. Doesn't make sense to me, but that's what he's doing. Counterpoint, Obama can't get elected for a third term because it's unconstitutional, limited to two, and there's no racial bias there whatsoever. You're gonna bring the Constitution into this? You're gonna bring the Constitution, okay. If there's a Constitution, that means there's also freedom of speech, which means people wanna put anti-vaccination information in, regardless of whether or not it's wrong or right, they should be allowed to do so, right? I agree. Let me, I have one more extra yeah, point, yeah, no, please, point please. There's this whole trend going on where people only do things if it's like backed by science and research, but sometimes I think if something sounds scary, you should totally just go that way too. <laughs> If it sounds scary, you guys, nothing is more terrifying on Halloween than the idea of vaccinations making your child autistic, yes. which is not founded in any way, shape, or form. There's been no science that's proven that. Jenny McCarthy, I just said that for a thumbnail picture. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Relevant. Yeah. <laughs> She's handing out candy. She's handing out her goodies. So what do you guys think? Is it okay to put propaganda on the back of candy that's being handed out to children? Let me know in the comments down below. This also, is yeah. even if it's okay, should you? Just because something is legal, you see. should you, you do see. it? It's a moral thing. You're picking it up. You know what I'm gonna do this Halloween, Elliot? What? I'm gonna be handing out candy with little pictures of Elliot Morgan on there saying, go check out Elliot Morgan's show, Happy Hour, on YouTube.com slash Elliot Morgan. Oh. And then they should head over there and they can watch you. For example, if you need to know how to take someone out on a date for the cheap, yeah. On a date. You're nailing it. On the cheap. Yes. Yes. Then go check out Cheap Dates. Go on a walk with your significant other, a nice long walk, get some exercise, get some fresh air, and do a little light people watching. Just imagine what their home lives are like. Also, remember to like this video if you like this video and would like to see more of the like, and remember to subscribe because we make new videos Monday through Thursday. This has been an awesome week so far, day number two. Tomorrow, we got another person coming right at your it? face. Tell me. It's... No. -uh. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We got him, dude. Thanks, man. Thank Good you. Stuff. All right, and until then, we're gonna keep drinking.